your Southwest Louisiana storm update. This break of Mike Keogh in the morning is secured by Acadian Total Security. Acadian Total Security offers cost-effective home, fire, and burglary protection solutions to fit any lifestyle or budget. Visit them today at www.acadiantotalsecurity.com. We have on the phone with us here today, KPLC Chief Meteorologist Wade Hampton. Wade, give us the latest on now Hurricane Laura. Yeah, and uh, as you said, it is a hurricane now. Hurricane Hunter planes are out there, and I, I said plural. There are actually two different planes out there right now uh, checking out Laura for the strength and structure of the storm, and they did find winds to 75 miles per hour, so that's why it was upgraded to a hurricane, and that's kind of what we expected to happen as it pulls away from the island of Cuba that we expected it to strengthen. And that seems to be uh, going on now and will likely continue probably all the way up until landfall. Yeah, and the track, not much deviation, looking the same. Yeah, not really. You know, there, there's there been some subtle little changes here and there, but I, I encourage the listeners to, to please let's don't read too much into a shift of of a few miles either direction really and truly uh you know as long as that cone is over us that is the concerning part and just remember a hurricane is not a it's not a point it's not a everything right at the point it's it's a it's a major problem well displaced from the storm it's not just that tiny spot at the coastline because uh, tropical storm force winds go out 175 miles from the center and most of that's on the north and east Side, which would be the side that we're in regardless right now i've seen this on some of your posts on social media it's not out the realm of possibility that laura could become a category four uh it is definitely a possibility because now the forecast officially brings it to category three and there are some of the models that definitely show category four is possible so I, again i would really continue to stress that and that it could be stronger. I'd always rather everyone out there be prepared for the worst case. And if it's a little better, then then yay, we we, we have something to celebrate. But let's uh, let's focus on the worst case scenario. Which at this point, I would say category four is certainly possible. And the timing of that landfall is going to still be sometime very late tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. So. Right, and, and all I keep hearing on the Weather Channel and Weather Nation and, and stuff like that is the Gulf right now is perfect to breed a monster hurricane. Very little shear. The water is extremely warm. Let's talk about the the situation over yeah. there in the Gulf that can make this a monster. Yeah, yeah that's exactly it. The conditions are, are look to be perfect as far as, as far as we know. There are always unknown because we don't have data, as much data over the Gulf as we do over land, but all indications point to the conditions being perfect. There have been no storms that have passed over this part of the Gulf. Hannah was nearly a month ago now when Hurricane Hannah passed over and went into central, South Central Texas, but really it developed a little farther west than, uh, or at least was stronger farther west than where Laura's going to go. So. Fortunately, Laura is not going to be passing over any cool or water. So the lack of wind shear and uh, very warm water are the perfect combo for strengthening, unfortunately. And even history says that storms in the Gulf like this almost always blow up or increase in intensity very rapidly. And unfortunately, that's a scenario that we have to be prepared for. All right, before we let you go, we're talking with Chief Meteorologist Wade Hampton from KPLC. You guys are doing amazing coverage, not only on TV, but also on the Facebook as well. Ben, yourself, and Jacob are doing great jobs keeping everybody in the know. So I want to say thank you so much uh, for Absolutely. everybody here in Southwest Louisiana. And we will be uh, on, we, we, are plan we will be on television throughout the night, tomorrow night, during the worst of this. We will be on with updates. So uh, everyone, uh, stay tuned and we'll hope for some better news, but uh, I, I don't know if that's going to end up coming in our direction. Well, stay safe, Wade. Thank you for all your hard work and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Thanks.